pig butchering is a cryptocurrency con that law enforcement likens to fattening up a hog before slaughter. Tonight, Chinese national Hai Long Zhu from Naperville is charged in the latest high dollar pig butchering scheme among four men now who allegedly struck up fake relationships with wealthy victims, convinced them to invest in sham businesses, and then just stole their money, $80 million, according to federal agents. Cryptocurrency cons have become so commonplace that stock photo services even provide these mock-up arrest scenes. Last March, federal agents did move in on the Naperville residence of this man, Hai Long Zhu, the 40-year-old Chinese national who had recently arrived in Illinois, according to federal investigators, on a one-way ticket from California. Zhu was charged singly at the time in this cryptocurrency money laundering case out of Virginia, in which authorities said Zhu's Illinois state identification card was provided to open a bank account allegedly used in the scheme. This case is about really the oldest con game of the world, just with a very new kind of technology. Former Chicago federal prosecutor Gil Sofer is our chief legal analyst. It looks to be a good old-fashioned con game where the bad guys strike up a friendship, a fell, false friendship with victims, get their confidence, get their money, and steal it. It's as simple as that. Zhu was acquitted in September of the Virginia charges, according to U.S. court records, and released from custody. Tonight, he is facing similar new charges in California with three other men. Two of them have appeared in court now, but Zhu, seen here in a mugshot just provided to the I-team by federal law enforcement, has not yet been arrested. Federal investigators tonight say pig butchering scams targeting Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investors by preying on victims' emotions, not just greed. Scammers many times cultivate new victims on dating services, first sending messages to initiate romantic relationships. A late statement just into the I-team from Zhu's attorney in that Virginia case saying, Mr. Zhu was acquitted of all charges in Virginia because he was not a knowing participant in this fraud scheme. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.